Okay, so let's take stock of where we are. So we've talked a lot about filtration and what determines how much fluid and how many solutes are filtered. And we've also talked a lot about the mechanisms of reabsorption, especially the way we reabsorb sodium. And we mentioned that water tends to follow sodium, so really talking about how we reabsorb sodium is explaining how we reabsorb sodium and water. But what we haven't talked about is how the kidney changes the amounts of fluid and salt that it reabsorbs. And we know that that's important because the amount of salt and water that you eat and drink can change. On one day, you might drink a lot of water and eat very little salt. And so on that day, you would want to excrete more water and excrete less salt. And then on another day, you might have a really salty meal but not drink much water. And so on that day, you would want to do the opposite. So it's time for us to start thinking about how the kidney changes these processes, how it changes the amount of stuff that's filtered and reabsorbed. And in order to get into that, it's actually going to be important to first talk about exactly what happens when you do drink a lot of water. Where does that fluid go? Or when you do have a really salt-heavy meal, where does that salt go?